Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to discuss some Funko Pops that are Walgreens exclusives um, that are a little hard to find. So I've been showing as I as I pick up Funko Pops and I show you guys what's available. I've been showing you what's out in stores. For example, we've talked about the Lizard that's out. Um, there's Spider-Man Noir that's out without his hat on from the collection, the new series. Um, there's just a lot of different Funko Pops that have been dropped at Walgreens um, recently. And so I want to cover the ones that I have had a very hard time finding. And so we have eight of them. Uh, one of them you can only order online so far. Uh, and I'll let you know which one that is when I put them all on the screen at the same time. And then the other ones, um, they've just been very difficult to find. And um, everyone's looking for these. And, and matter of fact, um, as I'm stopping at Walgreens, which I do quite often, um, either after work or on my day off, um, I hear a lot of employees start asking, what are these things? How come everyone's calling? I don't even know what a Funko Pop is. And it's crazy because... They've always carried them, and they've always had exclusives, but it was almost like the New York Comic Con when, when Target, that same day, Target dropped a bunch of Funko Pops for Target exclusives. I mean, a lot of them. So, um, this is the same thing almost. It seems like within the last month, a lot, and when I say a lot, we're talking, I'm going to cover eight, and then the Lizard would be nine, Spider-Man Nora would be ten. Um, I know there's some other ones I showed you, just can't think of the top of my head. Um, but at least 12, 13, 14 Funko Pops that are, um, I mean, Walgreens exclusives. So there's been quite a few, quite a few. Some Spider-Man ones, all sorts of ones. So um, they, these are hard to find. And, and by the way, on this video, and I'm looking right here to see if I put them on here or not. Because I'm going to put them up on the screen. Okay, I do have them on here. So I'll talk to about a specific one once I throw them on the screen. So let's just get started. Let me throw these on the screen for you right now. So there you go. That is all. Now, there's more than these, okay? But these are just the eight that I'm going to cover today. So on your top left, you have Jason Voorhees. These are all Walgreens exclusive. You have Jason Voorhees on your top left. Um, this is Bag Mask Jason. And if I'm not mistaken, this is from uh, the second movie he was in. Um, but yeah, that one is a Walgreens exclusive. I think there's even a mystery mini of him like that. Um, and he's hard to find. This is a Walgreens exclusive Funko Pop. Number 611, very hard to find. Um, next to him, I have this one in my hands. I should have bought it. The box was very, very damaged. This is uh, Frankenstein holding a flower. This is such an awesome pop, especially when you see it in person. It is amazing, but the box was so beat up. I mean, it wasn't just dented. It wasn't just scratched. I mean, it was like, like it got stomped on, kind of. I mean, it was really bad. And I was like, you know what? He, he would look cool on my desk, but then I'm thinking like, damn, I got so much stuff on my desk. So I didn't buy him, and I don't regret it just because the box was so damaged. I mean, there's slight damage, and then there's like, yo, why is this even on sale? Damage. So that was Frankenstein, but he is amazing. Walgreens exclusive. Guys, I want this one so bad. Then you have on the next two, you have the Invisible Man. And then you have the same Invisible Man Chase. So you can only pick up the Chase at Walgreens. And so the Invisible Man has been invisible from my grasps for a very long time. <laughs> He's been out for almost three weeks now, maybe four weeks. And he is so hard to find. He's been invisible. I know, corny, right? But it is what it is. <laughs> He's been invisible, and I have been unable to capture him until today. So, um, but yeah, so there's both of him. So Invisible Man, Walgreens exclusive, and then we got the Invisible Man Chase that you can only find at Walgreens. These are tough, tough, tough cookies to find. So, um, on the bottom left, we have... Um, this is this is a movie moment. Hulk punching the Hulk Buster, and um, this one is an online exclusive. This is a New York Comic Con exclusive, so you can only get this at Walgreens.com. They do have it available if you want to buy it. 
It's thirty nine ninety nine. It's a little extra money because it is a New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, and it's an online only, so you will not find this one in stores. Maybe down the line, but right now you won't. Then next to him is another movie moment. This is Hulk um, when he picks up Loki uh, and he starts slamming him. So um, this is Hulk and Loki. And this again, this is when Lo uh, Hulk picks him up by the leg and just starts slamming him on the ground and pretty much beating the living you know what out of him. Uh, this one, I, I want all of these, by the way. Everything you're looking at right now, I want them all. So, yes, this is one I'm going to be looking for. This one is not out in stores yet. It just got released. Um, so, stores are starting to get these in on their shipments. But um, I haven't seen any in my area. But as soon as I see one, I'll get one. They're not on the website either. I've already checked. So, um, this one should be available in Walgreens. They should. We should be seeing these in stores any week now. Or a, really any day now. Um, and then to wrap it up, we got the six inch Hulk, which is Spider Hulk. Um, that one's the third one on the bottom. Um, now Spider Hulk, I ended up buying him today on eBay because I have been now, it's been officially, uh, 23 to 24 different Walgreens in the last uh nine ten days um and i'm talking mainly on sundays so this one i was like you know what i'm so tired of looking for him everybody wants him he's the number one most sought after funko pop at walgreens unless they got their shipment in and i just happen to be in the store as they're putting them on the shelf it's going to be pretty much impossible and then not only that but walgreens boxes come in damage so i'm not going to risk it i'm just going to buy them from eBay. I paid $38 for him. In stores, he's $24.99. Okay? So, I paid $38 in free shipping. So, I paid $14. I mean, if you take taxes, $24.99 with taxes, he's right around $28. So, I spent another $10 extra to get him in near mint condition. The box looks phenomenal. Hopefully, it's packaged and shipped properly, right? But, I paid $10 extra dollars which is well spent money because I've spent more than $10 in gas looking for this guy. So I broke down and bought him on eBay, paid 10 more bucks than I would have paid in the store, and it was well worth it. I'll, I'll show it to you when it comes in. Hopefully it comes in as great a shape as it looks, um, and I'm sure it will be because the guy has a 100% you know rating, so it should come in great condition. So I'll show that one to you as soon as I, I get it in, but I'm just I'm tired of finding. I'm trying, tired of trying to find him in stores. He's so hard to find. And then you got Toxin on the far right bottom. And he's also very hard to get. And he belongs to the Venom family. So, um, and he's hard to find as well. So those are the eight Funko Pops that um, I'm after. Now, with that being said, um, there's other ones that I've already discussed that have already come out. Um you know, from from different... Usually it's all the Spider-Man kind of genre. You're right. Even the lizard and stuff. And Toxin is still Spider-Man Venom related. So, um, I've showed you other Walgreens that I... Other exclusives I found. The Mystery Minis I found at Walgreens and stuff like that. So, I wanted to do a video on the eight that I don't have. Well, the good news is I bought one of them. I bought one of them on eBay. So, that one is coming in the mail. So, now that takes it down to I need seven of these things the good news is today um not even an hour ago because I've been sick in bed pretty much the whole day um I've been to the doctor this morning not feeling good um but I had to get up I had it I just felt like you know was, I've been laying down in bed not necessarily sleeping but just resting all day long um took a shower you know uh, another shower today and uh to kind of wake myself up and decide you know what there's one Walgreens. It's about a 30-minute drive um, from my house. Haven't hit that one up yet. And it's in a small town um, that not a lot of people live in. So I'm going to go out there and hopefully find something, right? I'm just I'm hoping to find one of these eight. And I actually found three of the eight. So I want to show those to you. So I, you've already seen them on the screen. So I'm excited to show you. I actually ended up finding Toxin. 
I'm really, uh, by the way, I'm really excited. I mean, I've been looking for these for a long time. And I just drove over there, picked these up, and came right back home. And then now I'm recording. Now I'm recording this video. So, there's Toxin. That is just a little, there you go. Just a little white thing on the box. So, he looks really cool. Um, he belongs to the Venom family. And I'll show you that here in a second. Look at that side. You can see the symbiote coming down, right? But you turn to the back and you see the three Venom, Carnage, and Anti-Venom, Funko Pop. So he's kind of in that family there. So I'm waiting for the camera to go. All right. So I ended up getting Toxin. Um, I ended up getting Jason Voorhees in the mint condition too, by the way. He looks so cool. Look at the detail on that bag, the stitching and everything, the way it's, the way they did it. Oh my God, this is awesome. Holding his weapon, <laughs> he looks great, right? I mean, this guy looks awesome. Perfect condition. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth, Jason Voorhees, with his pickaxe, looking phenomenal. Um, very excited. I love how he has his right hand out, like he's ready to grab you. Um, yeah, and he's got that he's got that uh, sack on his head. So that one I picked up as well. I'm doing it slowly because um, I'm filming in HD, and I'm trying something new that I've done for the last couple videos, and it seems to be working very well. When I watch it back on my television, it actually looks a lot more clear. So. I hope you guys have noticed that the videos, at least the last, I think, three or four, have been a lot more clear than normal. And it's because I'm I'm um, doing different things with, uh, I'm setting up the things differently to see, um, to try to get the best picture I can with the internet that I have. So, um, so far it seems to be working out pretty good. Um, but it does, if I put something close to the camera and I pull it back, it does kind of like, you know, take a minute to focus back in. So when you see me do this, that's what I'm doing. I'm like focus back in and then I found a beat to crap <laughs> look at that box damage I mean damage on the corner damage on the side I found the invisible man look at that torn even torn right but I was so damn desperate to have the invisible man I was like screw it I'm buying it and by the way the uh, Frankenstein with the flower was about five times worse than this box so and this box is really bad. Scale 1 through 10, this box is like a 2. No, maybe a 3. <laughs> maybe a 3. But the Hulk was like a negative 10. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, it was so bad that, that um, I asked for a discount off the counter. Because I would have bought it for like, you know, 5 bucks. And they said, no, we lose money if we discount it. So we just send it back. And they, they'll... they'll um, uh, credit us for it so um, but the invisible man is part of the um, monsters line and then you see Frankenstein there up here so Frankenstein with a flower is also part of the monsters line as well that's a that's a, a Walgreens exclusive so there you have the invisible man he's no longer invisible I found him but he's beat to crap look at that box I don't, there's not one Funko Pop I have in my entire collection. Not even one. Not one that's damaged that bad. I give this box a two, a three at the highest. And it is just this portion right here. But the rest of it's in okay condition. But I mean, even here, just you can see the, the crease right here. Look at that. I'm just horrible. But I had to have him. So hopefully I find a better version of him. So even though I got him, I still want a mint version or a nicer version of him. So hopefully I can still find one as I'm looking for the other ones that I've shown you. So um, so that's cool. So I already got four, even though one's jacked up. I still got four of the eight. Um, and then I just have to get the other eight. So, I mean the other four, sorry. Um, I'm on meds right now, guys. Because <laughs> I'm sick. So. Um, so if I'm a little woozy or whatever it's because of the medicine so this is a long video 15 minute video didn't want to make it this long but i did want to kind of show you the funko pops i did want to show you what i was able to find today which is really cool so this special 
Walgreens is going to be my go-to Walgreens because I I went I walked in and I was like they had more more of the lizard they had like four more lizards um, they had more Han Solos they had um, more of the other ones that I already have they had more of those but I'm not going to buy I don't need them I'm not going to just keep buying them I only need one of each um, maybe two if I really love that character so. Um, but that's it. That wraps up this video, guys. Thank you for watching.